iOS can dynamically generate shadows for any UI view, and these shadows automatically adjust to fit the shape of the item in question, even following the curves of text inside a UI label. This functionality is built right in, so all you need to do is configure its properties, and there are four you should care about. Shadow color sets the color of the shadow and needs to be a CG color. Shadow opacity sets how transparent the shadow is, where zero is invisible and one is as strong as possible. Shadow offset sets how far away from the view the shadow should be to give a 3D offset effect. And shadow radius sets how wide the shadow should be. Here is a simple example to get you started. Let your view equals a UI view. Your view dot layer dot shadow color equals UI color dot black dot CG color. Then your view dot layer dot shadow opacity equals one. Make this thing fully opaque. Your view dot layer dot shadow offset equals dot zero. Center it around our view rather than pushing it off to one side. And then your view dot layer dot shadow radius equals 10. Make it a nice and wide shadow. Now be warned, making shadows dynamically is expensive because iOS has to draw the shadow around the exact shape of your view's contents. If you can, you should set the shadow path property to a specific value so iOS doesn't have to calculate transparency dynamically. For example, we could create a shadow path equivalent to the frame of our view. We could say your view dot layer dot shadow path equals a UI Bezier path with the rect your view dot bounds dot CG path. Alternatively, you can ask iOS to cache a rendered shadow so it doesn't need to be redrawn. We could say your view dot layer dot should rasterize equals true. If you want to go down the rasterization route, you should make sure iOS caches the shadow at the same drawing scale as the main screen. Otherwise, it'll look pixelated. You should say your view dot layer dot rasterization scale equals UI screen dot main dot scale.